Good evening, I'm Paul Adler. First on this Friday night, a man from Dallas County has been sentenced to life in prison. James Phelps is one of two men charged in the 2021 death of Cassidy Rainwater. Phelps entered an Alford plea today, which is not an admission of guilt, but he does acknowledge there's enough evidence for a conviction. Marina Silva joins us live in Dallas County with exclusive video from today. Marina, what can you tell us about this case? Well, Paul, this is the biggest development and partly an end to a case we first broke in September of 2021. Tonight, James Phelps will spend his first night in the Fulton prison. Now, this is exclusive video that we shot this afternoon of James Phelps being escorted from the Dallas County Jail to the car that will be taking him to prison. For some background of the case, Phelps is one of two defendants who has been charged in the murder and the death of 33-year-old Cassidy Rainwater. Timothy Norton is the second man charged. FBI investigators contacted detectives in Dallas County saying they received photos from an anonymous person showing rainwater in a cage. Investigators say a detective recognized rainwater in a partially nude estate. According to court documents, investigators say Phelps and Norton dismembered her body in a bathtub. Investigators found the remains in Phelps's freezer. More than 200 pieces of evidence were recovered at the home. Investigators also found Rainwater's remains on a nearby property of Rainwater's grandfather, who died several years ago. As for today in court, Dallas County Sheriff Scott Rice says Phelps showed no emotion and says first and foremost, he's glad that a family now has some closure. It feels good for it to be over with for one of them, and I'm glad the victim's family has finally found some closure on part of it now. Phelps' co-defendant Timothy Norton is in the Greene County Jail tonight. He's charged with murder, abandonment of a corpse, and kidnapping. He is scheduled to be in court here on Tuesday. As for more information being released, Sheriff Rice says the case is not over until Timothy Norton is convicted. Now, we do have extensive coverage of this case on KY3.com and our KY3 News app. Reporting live in Dallas County today, I'm Marina Silva.